Welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information, you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. So this is a project demonstration video and in this video we will demonstrate a project in which we will control the speed of a DC motor in real time with the help of Arduino and uh, MATLAB. So in this case, it can be th you can think of this project as a HIL hardware in loop simulation with the help of Arduino and MATLAB. Further, we also provide online training, help in technical assignments. We also do freelance projects based on embedded system, data science, machine learning, uh, control system, uh, Python, MATLAB, etc. So if you have any such requirement, then you can let us know by contacting us through our website, which is www.jcbrolabs.org or you can also mail us at jcbrolabs at gmail.com. Okay, so let's open uh, let's first give you a brief about like how this project is working so that you can understand it better. So the project is real time PID based speed control of DC motor. So ultimately what we have, we have a DC motor here. So we are going to control the speed of this DC motor with the help of a PID controller and the PID controller which uh, we have implemented in MATLAB. So here we will be talking about our hardware connection, uh, how we have connected our, how created our hardware in order to make it on a real time. So here we have a DC motor one and then we have a, another DC motor. So let's put in different color and so here is the DC motor two. So what is happening? Uh, we are providing uh, the signal to DC motor 1 and it is when this DC motor is running it will run this second DC motor and this second DC motor will act as a taco generator. So here in our hardware it is acting as a taco generator. So ultimately uh, we are not measuring the speed of this uh, DC motor in terms of the RPM. Okay, so what we have done instead, uh, we are rotating this and based on this rotation, the output voltage of this second DC motor taco generator will vary. So we are reading the output of this taco generator and then feeding into our uh, into a PID loop. And based on that, we are generating the output voltage for this uh, DC motor. So I hope you get it. That means we provide a signal here and it will rotate at any speed depending on its speeds the output voltage of this DC motor will vary and either we can use a lookup table or some other method to match like uh, whatever the voltage is there that is corresponding to a specific RPM. So our task will be simply to make this output at any specific voltage. So in other sense this motor one will be running at a specific RPM only. Okay. So now about the connections, so we have here a L293D circuit, okay, so the one point of this L293D is connected to DC motor and then another point of this DC motor is grounded and then we have our Arduino here and this Arduino is uh, which we are using is Arduino mega board. So it is generating the signal to this idle 293D which is ultimately are going to this DC motor and then it is taking the reading from this DC motor okay and one point connection is grounded okay so okay one point is grounded and one more thing is there. Uh, we are not getting directly why because there could be some noise into it or the output voltage let's say if we are running this particular dc motor at 12 volt so the maximum voltage of this dc motor which will be generating by it it will be around 9 volt so we can't feed this 9 volt directly to arduino mega so what we are doing here uh, we are adding uh, additional circuitry here which consists of like low pass filter and voltage divider okay so that uh, what will happen 
it is going there and one point is connected to ground it so if there is some noise into it so that will be uh, filtered out uh, if there is some 50 or noise or 60 hertz noise so the uh, filter which we are using that has a, a cutoff frequency less than around 3 hertz so that we can get a, a very clean signal and then this output of this LPF is going into the Arduino Mega. Now this Arduino Mega is connected to a computer. So here we have a computer on which a MATLAB is running. Okay. And inside MATLAB a Simulink we have implemented a PID controller. Okay so entire control system is implemented here so if we make it a broad way so in broad way uh, it is uh, i should say it is a computer so within this computer we have implemented this pid uh, in matlab so we have provided a set point there here is the set point and then here we have our pid and the output of the pid is going to the PWM block and then from a PWM block of this Arduino and we are getting the data from A0 channel and then we are displaying it and then it is getting feedback here. Okay. So this is how this PID algorithm is implemented uh, into it. Okay. So it is a kind it makes a complete loop and it creates a, a real time speed control. Okay. So in other sense, you can also say it is a like uh, HIL simulation, uh, which uh, also known as the hardware in loop simulation. So here is our hardware and here is our simulation block in which we have implemented a control algorithm. So that is why this kind of structure is known as the hardware in loop simulation. So we have used this uh, Arduino and uh, on MATLAB, we have to install some support packages we are provide, which are provided from the uh, MATLAB itself. Okay, so now let's demonstrate this project. Okay, so let's first look at the hardware. So this is a hardware setup. Okay, so I hope it is visible to you. Yep. So here we have this Arduino board, and here we have this L293 D IC. Okay, so this L293 D is getting power signal from this Arduino this pin and then we are running this particular motor so we are controlling the speed of this dc motor this particular dc motor is coupled to another dc motor via this axis so these two axes are coupled to each other so whenever this motor will run it will rotate this particular motor so this particular motor will generate some output so that output is going through this small circuit which includes the voltage divider and uh, the low pass filter and then this signal is going into the Arduino Mega uh, voltage read and then the, it is connected to the computer on computer which uh, uh, we have created uh, a block a real time implementation of this so this is the entire block diagram of real time implementation of this HIL simulation here is the set point, here is the PID implementation, a saturation block we have used, is the PWM generation and then this analog pin and on the score we will get our output. So you may be thinking like uh, how we will get this uh, original values of PID. So that is the trick. Uh, every system has a different kind of, uh, uh, different kind of uh, uh, model in order to control. So as you know, uh, this PID parameters vary. So there are several steps in identifying these parameters of uh, PID. So uh, we are telling you, you can try it to your own. So first step is the system identification. So in system identification, what we took, we took the open loop step response of the system and then with the help of built-in system identification tool of the MATLAB comes with the DC motor model okay so once the model is there uh, second step was using optimization algorithm so we used TLBO or you can use any other we use TLBO optimization algorithm okay 
so once this model is used with the help of this uh, TLB optimization algorithm, we optimize the PID controller for this model and then from this uh, TLB algorithm we found the value of KP, KI and KD. Now these values of KP, KI, KD we have used uh, in our system. Okay. So in our system if you look at so these are the value of this KP, KI, KD. This value may not run if you try at your end. This value may not be uh, sufficient for your model because your model will be different. Each DC motor is different. So you have to uh, follow this procedure. Okay. So okay. So here it is. Now let's demonstrate by running it. We have put a set point four. So let's run it. So first it will initialize, it will compile and then it will build a model on Arduino Mega. So right now it is uh, running, building a model to run on Arduino Mega. And when it is start running, our motor will start rotating and we will be seeing the corresponding graph here. So we will show you the both the graphs. So okay, the board model has been downloaded on it. Okay, the motor is running. Okay, so let's make it to original. Okay, here is a set point, and you can look at it. it is just as soon as it reaches to the set point, it has stabilized. Okay, here is the model. So we have run this model for five seconds. So let's wait for 50 second duration to complete it, and then we will try to set. Uh, we will try to change this uh, uh, set point, and then we'll run the model again. Okay. Yeah, you can make it yeah. So we have set we have, these axes are not fixed, so it is not very visual. Right now we will set our uh, set point to three point five volt. Okay. So it is working very fine actually so now let's reset it okay so let's change the set point to 3.5 volt apply and then okay so let's run the model again so you just have to run the model again okay. and make it up Okay, it's getting downloaded. This LED will start blinking of this mega. Okay. Yeah. So here right now our set point is 3.5. It is reaching there. Okay. That's it. So right now uh, you can think of how it is speed controlling like <coughs> so corresponding 3.5 volt. It is ro rotating at a specific speed. So we have not done it, but you can do. You can. Uh, uh, use a lookup table like uh, uh, at what RPM you will get a 3.5 volt or at what RPM you will get a 4, a 4 volt uh, from this DC, uh, from this motor. So by which you can set the voltage here and automatically it will rotate at that particular speed. So that is a very crude way or you can say very uh, most economical way to create a hardware for or a real time hardware for this speed control of DC motor. So we'll run for one more time. Uh, now, right now, we will make it for let's say 2.5 uh, simulation. Uh, one more thing, there is also a dead band is there. Like uh, we can't run this system for let's say for 1.5 volt because uh, in order to generate this 1.5 volt, we need to supply some very less voltage at this running motor. But uh, at that voltage, it may be possible that this motor will not run. To take its own dead zone because each motor contains its dead zone as well. So let's say okay, let's make it two, apply okay, and then simply run it. So here it is, and here we will see it. Okay, so this is our last demonstration. Okay, so let's wait. It is downloading module to Arduino. So I simulated it for 50 seconds in order to demonstrate you like okay it is stabilizing to the same two voltage for a longer duration. So now it has stabilized to two and our response is quite satisfactory right. 
so it is not getting much overshoot or much undershoot and very much constant towards the set point so this optimization algorithm has generated a very quite a uh, quite a good uh, values of this kpk and kd so you can easily visualize like uh, now this motor is running slow so based on this different different rpm the corresponding voltage we can run this motor at different speed and this is a very uh, simple way of demonstrating this uh, real time speed control of dc motor okay so if you want to purchase this you can uh, also purchase it or if you want the code related to this or want files you can uh, simply contact us at jcbrolabs at gmail.com okay or through our website or you can directly mail us at so uh, we will send uh, this kind of hardware and the corresponding codes to you as well okay so finally we also provide online training help in technical assignments we also do freelance project based on data science embedded system machine learning python etc so if you have any such requirement then you can let us know by contacting us through our website which is www.jcbrolabs.org or you can also mail us at jcbrolabs at gmail.com so that's it for this video thank you so i hope you will like uh, you have like you like this video <coughs> uh, you can also let us know if there is any comment or any suggestion by commenting below this video okay so that's it for this video